Hi there and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's dive into today's top stories. AC Milan want to sign very fast £20 million Arsenal player. AC Milan are having a bit of a nightmare in defense and could make a move for Arsenal defender Jakub Kivior. According to reports in Italy, Kivior only signed for Arsenal in January this year completing a move worth around £20 million. However, the defender has struggled to make much of an impression on Mikel Arteta and has started just a handful of games in defence. And with AC Milan suffering from defensive problems, it's a claim the Rossoneri could target Kivior as an option in January. According to Calcio Mercato, Kivior is among a number of names Milan are considering. It comes as the Italian giant suffered injuries to two key defenders, leaving them short on options. It's a claim that Kivior is being considered by Milan, who also admire Chelsea defender Shaloba. Lauded for being a very fast defender, Kivior might well relish the chance to go back to Italy and play on a more regular basis. However, with Arsenal likely to be involved in both the race for the title and the Champions League, it's unlikely Mikel Arteta would sanction such a move. Kivior then might end up having to simply stay patient and play his part as the season trundles on. It would be quite telling if Arsenal did indeed sanction the sale of Kivior just a year or so after he joined. For one, it would show that he is not actually impressed too much, and secondly, it would almost be an admittance by the club that they got it wrong. However, Arsenal simply cannot afford to be losing players at the moment unless they are going to replace them with ready-made stars. So while Kivior might not feature heavily this season, he will still have a role to play in some way. With that, it's hard to see Kivior going anywhere, even if the lure of AC Milan is there. Arsenal in talks regarding a new deal with £120,000 a week star. Arsenal are set to offer Ben White a lucrative new contract. The £50 million defender has established himself as a key first-team player since joining the club. Tying him down to a new long-term contract should prove to be a wise decision for the London club. A report from Football Insider claims that talks regarding a new deal are progressing well and an agreement could be reached in the next few months. The defender currently has a contract with Arsenal until the summer of 2026 and he earns £120,000 a week. He is likely to receive a pay rise when he signs the new contract. The 26-year-old has been a key player for Mikel Arteta and he started every Premier League game this season. The former Brighton defender is versatile enough to operate as a central defender as well as a fullback. His versatility makes him an asset for Arsenal and the Gunners must hold on to him through his peak years. Arsenal have done well over the past year and they have been challenging for the league title. White will want to continue at the London club and win major trophies with them. It's fair to assume that an agreement over a new contract should be reached in the near future. The Gunners have done well to secure the future of key players recently and they have already agreed on a new contract with the players like Martin Odegaard, Bukayo Saka and William Saliba. Jamie O'Hara left fuming after what's happened to 24-year-old Arsenal player recently. Jamie O'Hara has labelled the fans who booed Arsenal midfielder Declan Rice on his return to West Ham United a disgrace. O'Hara was speaking on Talk Sport and was furious at the reception Rice received at his old club last week. Arsenal suffered a 3-1 defeat against the Hammers on Wednesday in the League Cup after an underwhelming display. It saw Rice return to the London Stadium for the first time since completing a 105 million pound switch to Arsenal over the summer. 
The 24-year-old captain was tamed during his spell in East London and led them to a Europa Conference League title last season, but he received a mixed reaction from the West Ham faithful last week with a section of supporters booing their former skipper. And it's fair to say that Jamie O'Hara wasn't impressed with the reception he received at his old club. Speaking this morning on Talk Sport, O'Hara labeled the West Ham supporters who decided to boo Rice a disgrace, he said. I think the West Ham fans who were booing Declan Rice were a disgrace. That man gave everything for his football club, could have left a year before his time and stayed and won them a trophy and was a massive part of them winning that. For him to go back there and boo him, what annoys me is fans expect players to have loyalty and wear their heart on their sleeve and don't leave when a big offer goes in. Well, how about when you get £100 million for a player and he goes back there and you boo him? How do you expect loyalty in football when fans turn on you that quickly, especially Declan Rice, he is a proper West Ham. It was a surprise to see Rice booed by a section of West Ham fans last week, but it's important to note that plenty of West Ham supporters did give Rice a good reception when he came on for Jorginho. The England international was a brilliant servant to West Ham, and there is always bound to be a few who are unhappy with the fact he decided to move on. Newcastle star admits he was fuming with one Arsenal player after Saturday's game. Newcastle United defender Jamal Lasselis has hit out at Arsenal midfielder Jorginho, who was captain for the day and this week on the Premier League clash at James Park. Jorginho had the captain's armband due to the absence of the injured Martin Odegaard, but Lasselis was clearly far from impressed with how the Italy international conducted himself. Newcastle won a fiercely contested game 1-0, thanks to a controversial second-half goal from Gordon, and it's perhaps not too surprising that several Arsenal players were unhappy with how things went on. Still, Lascelles feels that doesn't excuse the poor professionalism of someone like Jorginho, who apparently didn't want to shake hands afterwards. Jamal says he was fuming with Jorginho, though it clearly also made the win over the Gunners that bit sweeter for him. He said, I was fuming, it's not on. I would never refuse to shake an opposition captain's hand. No way, you can have as many argument as you want on the pitch, but shake hands at the end, it's part of the sport. For me, whatever happens on the pitch, handbags or whatever, you show sportsmanship and shake hands afterwards, he didn't do that. So I am so glad we beat them. Players like that, I don't think it's acceptable. A lot of them walked in, but I went up to him to shake his hand, but he didn't want to, and he is their captain. There was a lot of that in the game, but that's football, and we managed it well and kept our cool. It will be intriguing to see how this result impact the race for the top four. As one imagines, both these teams will be right up there competing for what looks like could be a very close battle for any of those spots between second and fifth. Arsenal and Manchester United could make their move for a 26-year-old winger. Juventus winger Federico Chiesa has been linked with a move to the Premier League in recent months. A report from CalcioMercato.it claims that the 26-year-old Italian international is a target for Manchester United and Arsenal. The two clubs could look to make a move for him in the coming months. Chiesa has started the season well with Juventus, scoring four goals and picking up one assist in 10 league appearances. He could prove to be a quality acquisition for the two English clubs. Manchester United need to add more depth and quality in the wide areas. The likes of Jaden Sancho and Anthony have been largely underwhelming and the Red Devils need to bring in an upgrade on them. Chiesa was regarded as a world-class prospect when he helped Italy win the European Championships, but his development has been affected by injury problems. The 26-year-old is slowly getting back to his best once again, and he should prove to be a quality acquisition. Meanwhile, Arsenal have overly relied on Bukayo Saka and Gabriel Martinelli for width and creativity. They need to add more quality to the side so that Mikel Arteta can rotate key players and keep them fresh. 
Signing another quality winger should be a top priority for Arsenal in the coming months. The 26-year-old Italian winger would improve both clubs and it will be interesting to see where he ends up. Signing him in January might not be easy and the two clubs will probably have to shell out a premium. Arsenal releases a strong statement in support of Mikel Arteta. Arsenal have released a statement and insist they strongly support the manager Mikel Arteta after his team were beaten by Newcastle United thanks to a very controversial goal. Newcastle's winning goal came after the ball had seemingly crossed the line and went out of play according to several images online. However, VAR never spotted this and the goal was allowed to stand after it was checked for a potential foul in the build-up as well. Arteta called the decision to allow it to stand a disgrace and claimed it cost his team. He has had many supporters and others disagree with him, but Arsenal has released a statement supporting their manager. It reads, Arsenal Football Club wholeheartedly supports Mikel Arteta's post-match comment after yet more unacceptable refereeing and VAR errors on Saturday evening. We'd also like to acknowledge the huge effort and performance from our players and travelling supporters at James Park. The Premier League is the best league in the world with the best players, coaches and supporters, all of whom deserve better. PGMOL urgently needs to address the standard of officiating and focus on action which moves us all on from retrospective analysis, attempted explanations and apologies. No Arsenal supporter or player will see the goal and not agree that we were robbed. The ball had clearly crossed the line but VIR continues to make these types of mistake and we probably just have to hope for the best next time while moving on. Arsenal needs at least 40 million euros to sign Bundesliga talent. Jamie Gittens is the latest English talent shining on the books of Borussia Dortmund and he has been linked with a move back to the Premier League. Dortmund has been a home for some of the most talented players from England and he is following in the footsteps of the likes of Jadon Sancho and Jude Bellingham at the German club. As he continues to develop, Arsenal is closely monitoring him and could launch a bid for his signature shortly. Arsenal has a history of nurturing and developing top talent from around Europe and sees Gittens as a player to keep an eye on. The 19-year-old plays on the wing for Dortmund and has been involved in matches in the Bundesliga, Champions League and the German Cup this season. As he performs well, several clubs are interested in adding him to their squad and Vigac suggest that he could be available for a fee of 40 million euros. If Arsenal are serious about signing him, they will need to make this money available. Gittens is just beginning to get games at BVB and is nowhere near being ready to play for our first team. If the attacker moves to the Emirates now, he will play for our youth team, so he needs more seasons in the bank and some fine stats before we move for him. Gary Neville shares his thoughts on Arsenal's Premier League title chances after a Newcastle defeat. Gary Neville has expressed his opinion on Arsenal's Premier League title chances after their latest defeat at Newcastle United, he told Sky Sports. In the games I have watched Arsenal this season, the centre-forward position has been a problem. Arsenal have to do some business in January. They are ending the game with Leandro Trossard in attack. I have said this after a few Arsenal games this season. Gabriel Jesus and Nketiah at centre-forward are both very good, but I'd like them to be my number two and number three strikers. I'd really love them to be my number two and number three strikers, and they might even end up playing wide and off the left in certain time games or off the right because both of them can do that role. But if Arsenal had a top number 9 and they have had some really top number 9s in the last 20 or 30 years, then I think they could go on to win the title. I have predicted them to win the title, but when I look at them now in big games, I feel they are lacking something up top. To be fair, 
I think Mikel Arteta knows that he loves them both and he should do, Arsenal fans should do. This is not a criticism of the two lads they have got because I think they can be really important players for Arsenal, but I feel like they should be part of the 20-man squad. They could still contribute in a 25 to 30 matches a season, but I feel you need something more in those top matches that just get you over the line. Erling Haaland does get Man City over the line quite a bit and I think that's what the difference could be in the end so for me that's a big thing. As we wrap up today's Arsenal news remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel don't miss out on the latest updates so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable your support means the world to us thanks for watching and until next time, take care.